Public Works Department and the City of Colwood in general is moving towards electric vehicles because, number one, it's the right thing for the climate. Over half of our emissions typically are related to our fleet. So this is a major aspect that we want to work on over the coming decade, and it's part of the reason why we're taking these actions. Another thing is also the economic benefit as well. When we're looking at electric vehicles, over the life cycle of the vehicle, there's significant cost savings. So we're looking at uh, potentially 30% more to purchase sometimes, but when you factor in ownership, fueling, maintenance, we're actually going to save 20% over the life cycle of the vehicle. One of our recent acquisitions is the VMC 1200, and this is a unique one for us because it's our first medium-duty electric vehicle. With a medium-duty vehicle, it's allowing us to, to do more in terms of moving heavy loads. By incorporating the VMC 1200, we've been able to do things like send out a couple yards of gravel for a shouldering job and be able to send it out in an electric vehicle. In terms of realizing the full potential of a medium-duty vehicle, we thought, we need to make sure that this can do some kind of snow and ice capacity. As a result, we, uh, we worked with the manufacturer to develop this functionality uh, so that we could integrate it this winter. One of the things that's uh, different, and, and I would say is an advantage of this truck, is that we can send it out and it's quiet. So traditionally, when we're out there, typically four o'clock in the morning, midnight, putting out brine, uh, we're using a, a loud, noisy truck. With this vehicle, we can send it in the neighborhoods and it's uh, significantly quieter. One of the things with our fleet is we're a small, small municipality geographically, so we don't need a vehicle that can drive excessive amounts in a day. You know, our typical kilometers are between 10 to 20 kilometers a day. So you take a, a vehicle like an F-150 Lightning or a Bolt, uh, you're only charging that up once a week, once every other week. So for us, electric vehicles are honestly, they make sense because it's something that we can use effectively. So at Colwood, climate action is multifaceted. We're not just looking at electrifying our fleet, we're also looking at electrifying other tools as well. So through 2023, our parks crew has worked to integrate uh, electric equipment for lawn care, trimmers, uh, blowers, even one mower as well. And so in, through 2024, we're gonna be moving more in that direction, acquiring more mowers. We want every aspect of public works to have electrification component. That way, overall, we're working to drive down that annual fuel consumption. At the end of the day, electrification is something that is also important to me too, and in my role and as a person. I wanna make sure that we take care of the planet, but this is gonna be around for future generations, and that future generations can look back at our actions and thank us for what we're doing. I want a resident to be able to look at what we do and feel proud to live here. If I can do that, I feel I've delivered my job. My name is John Russell, I'm Deputy Director of Public Works with the City of Colwood.